Greetings, everyone, and happy Hispanic Heritage Month. I want to thank the leaders, members, and staff of the National Association for Latino Community Asset Builders. Your work is so important. And to Madam President Bilonic, you and I talked shortly after I took office as Vice President when I called you to make sure that Latino families, businesses, and communities have the resources and support that they need. And I want to thank you for the work we have done together since then to uplift the economic opportunities of the community. NALCAB plays an important role in helping to strengthen America's economy and our capacity to increase access to capital for families and businesses. Your members offer loans and advice to entrepreneurs who want to start or grow a business. You work with families who want to save for a down payment to buy a home. And you work with students to secure low interest loans so they can plan a budget to pay for college. And all of this because we know all Latinos and all people in our nation should be able to build wealth and to determine their own future. Unfortunately, right now, not all communities have equal access to economic opportunity. Latino families are still rejected at a higher rate when applying for home loans. And some immigrant business owners, especially in rural areas, face language barriers that limit their ability to access capital and banking services. President Joe Biden and I know that for our nation to succeed, these disparities must be addressed. And as a proud daughter of California, the state with the largest Latino population in our country, I have worked throughout my career to attempt to address these disparities, and in particular, to ensure that we empower Latino communities. For example, as Attorney General of California during the foreclosure crisis, when Latino homeowners were targeted by predatory lending practices, I fought the big banks to make sure that people could stay in their homes and we secured $20 billion from those banks for California homeowners. And one of my last acts as a United States Senator was to secure $12 billion in funding for community lenders to increase capital for small businesses, to invest in communities, and to strengthen our entire economy. Since President Biden and I took office, we have invested these billions of dollars in hundreds of community lenders, including NALCAB members, across our nation. The impact of our increased investment was clear when I met with the Latino Community Credit Union in Durham, North Carolina, where we invested $100 million to allow the credit union to give 1 million fair loans to Latinos across the Southeast. Similarly, we sent $20 million to River City Federal Credit Union in San Antonio, Texas, where they recently opened two new branches to serve customers that had previously relied on predatory lenders. That allowed a small business owner to use a $400,000 loan to buy a building for his factory. That lowered his monthly payments and in turn allowed him to hire new employees. Altogether, working with NALCAB and so many of you over the past two and a half years, we have created 13 and a half million new jobs. Latino unemployment reached a record low, and we created more small businesses than in any other two years in history. A record made possible, in part because Latinos are the fastest growing group of small business owners in our nation, growth that is being led by Latinas. And to support our next generation of Latino leaders, we have invested more than $11 billion in Hispanic serving institutions to hire and retain faculty and expand mental health services. So the bottom line is this. President Biden and I know that our investment in the Latino community is our investment in America. I thank you all for your leadership and all that you do. Take care.